Hey, what's up, y'all? CP from Blue Eclipse Productions, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about volume and decibels and how it affects your work when you're mixing. Um, a lot of people, they know what volume is. Volume is the measurement of sound. No, well, not the measurement of sound. It's, it's how we gauge if something is loud or quiet. But um, a lot of people get confused about decibels, and decibels is actually the measurement of sound um, created by a scientist back in the day. I didn't... I don't know his name at the top of my head, but if you want to Wikipedia that or Google that, you're more than welcome to. Plenty of information on that person. But um, yeah, so when you're mixing your songs on a computer, especially through, you know, Reason, Cubase, um, even FL Studio, anything along those lines is typically measured in decibels. And if you don't fully understand the way decibels work, you could be introducing all kinds of clipping problems and just different things that you didn't take into consideration because you simply didn't know any better. So I'm gonna go back and recap this along with an analogy so that way hopefully you can understand it a lot better. Um, and as a matter of fact, let's go ahead to the kitchen now and I'll show you a good example or my analogy on how it works. Check it out. All right, so for this example, what I have here are three mugs and one glass. Each one of these mugs have water inside of them. So use your imagination and try to pretend like the liquid volume that's in this glass is like the volume of cell or the, or the decibels of cell. Um, now when you're mixing a song, imagine that each one of these cups is a different track. Like let's just say this is your drums, this is a piano, this is the rapper or the singer, right? And let's pretend like this glass is the master fader. So what's happening is each instrument that you add into the song, depending on its volume, will also increase the volume of the master track. So again, let's act like this first mug right here is the drums. You're mixing it, you're getting your levels really good. It's a pretty loud sound. So let's go on ahead and when we play it, that's gonna come through the master fader. It's gonna fill up that, it's gonna fill it up a little bit with some volume, right? So we're mixing the piano. Piano takes up a lot of dB. I mean, depending on the type of song it is, usually uh, piano is softer, but for this song, you're just banging the keys. It's pretty loud. So let's add that into the master fader, right? That brings up the volume there too. And then again over here, you have the, the rapper or the singer. They take up a lot of volume as well. Plus you're mixing it, you're adding effects, you're doing everything to it. Let's add that to the master fader. And as you can see what I'm doing here, you notice every instrument or every time I pour water into, the, into this glass, it would be like working on an instrument and its track is raising the volume of the master fader. Now in the digital domain, there is a limit, which is zero dB. Just like this glass, its lip is its limit because if this water goes past this lip, it's gonna spill over. It can't hold all of that water. The volume is gonna spill over. It's the same thing in the digital domain. If you're over zero dB, that's when you have clipping. And clipping is when the, the data that's over zero dB is basically cut off much like how the liquid in this glass when the water goes over it's cut off from the glass it spills over you can't use the information anymore so take into consideration when you're mixing your tracks you want to give yourself plenty of headroom and headroom means the amount of space you have until you get to zero db or until you get to zero decibels and Remember, when, you're, when, when it comes to decibels, the more positive the value, the louder the sound. The more negative the value, the quieter the sound. So if you're at zero dB, that is the loudest sound possible. That is the most positive value out of all the decibels when it comes to the digital domain. If it's negative 10, negative 15, negative 20, those are softer volumes. And that's what you want to aim for. You want to be able to mix all of your tracks 
without overloading the master fader and do it in a way to where it keeps the integrity of all the signals and it keeps the clarity and no distortion or anything it gives you a much better sound also as well because you know when you're over it's like see this track is clipping but the master fader is not clipping it still ruins the integrity of this sound right or same thing with the vocals you're working on the vocals vocals are loud as hell they're clipping it may not be clipping a master fader but you still don't want to ruin the integrity of the sound so just remember no matter what you're doing no matter which stage whether you're recording whether you're uh, mixing individual tracks or the final blend to the master track you don't want any of that stuff to clip and you also want to give yourself headroom for mastering later on because the same way the mastering guy like let's pretend this mug is the mastering guy so he's got his liquids or he's got his DB that he wants to point to the glass if you don't filled up the master you know if you filled up the glass with water how does he have room to work it's just gonna spill over it's not really much that he can do but if you leave him room or headroom and all your all your levels are low enough then he can add his liquid to it and make it loud and incredibly nice you know so those are some of the things to consider oh actually I got one more thing to say hold up all right, so there you have it. Um, that's my analogy on volume and how it's measured in decibels and when you're mixing your songs. Um, if you got any other questions, um, you can contact me at my email, cp at blueeclipsepro.com, or you can check out my website, www.blueeclipsepro.com. Um, I'm still working on that website. I'm going to be putting that together as well. Um, I got more videos coming up in the future. I just want to be sure that I touch on this one because I know y'all wanted me to explain more about mixing so I'm giving that to you um, and I also want to thank everybody that has subscribed there's been like a bunch of subscriptions lately as opposed to my normal um, amount of people that have been subscribing and again I appreciate that also appreciate the people that still stuck with me this whole time within the past year and um, I definitely want to thank the people that have been giving comments questions and suggestions um, that definitely helps me out a lot, gives me a lot to think about on what I need to do with my future videos. And overall, it just helps me know what you guys want, how to keep you guys happy and entertained, right? Because that's the whole point of this thing. Um, but again, any questions, hit me up on my email and I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.